Hello, hello, hello everyone and welcome to my channel Anne's Aesthetics where hopefully we can bring you some painting vibes, positive vibes today that will just uplift your day and your week, your mood, your year. Let's just get this thing going. I'm going to be using this light kind of medium dark purple shade for the background of the Scooby-Doo canvas and then I just took a portion of a larger Scooby-Doo collage, picked out the different elements I liked from that collage, and then I put them on this little canvas. So you see we have like a little monster, which in Scooby-Doo it's well known that all the monsters are just humans at the end of the day. We have some Scooby snacks, we got some Velmas, we got them going to jail, little Scrappy-Doo, always a main character. Did a lot of the process of this canvas painting on TikTok and through YouTube shorts. So if you want to see more of an in-depth kind of quick process of the steps, you can check those out. My TikTok is Aesthetics, and then obviously my YouTube's Anne's Aesthetics as well. So be sure to check those out. Subscribe for future ones that are going to be coming out and stay tuned because we just have more and more coming out, more ideas, and we're just growing as an artist every day. Switching to a nutmeg reddish brown shade, I'm going to be using this for Velma's hair, Scrappy Doo's base, and Scooby Doo's as well. There's really so many details with this painting. I had to focus in on, okay, let's get this spot done, finish, then let's move to this. That's how I have to go at all these paintings, or I just get a little overwhelmed with some of the detail amount on some of these. Like, I'm currently working on a nine-piece. I call them the massive canvases. They're not massive. I'm just used to doing small ones, so these are quite massive compared to what I'm used to. And they're like little collage rainbow colors and each little square or rectangle is its own little painting within itself. And it's just so time consuming, so much detail that goes into it. But I was spending a lot of time on the green section yesterday and it, it's coming out beautifully and I just can't wait for everyone to see it. I do think it's going to be a pretty good hit with the Anne's Aesthetics crew and other art members who are just looking for some colorful, fun, positive vibes. I'm using a very small detailed brush. Um, these are the brushes that I got off of Amazon. They came in those plastic tubes that really weren't the best, but I do like the brushes themselves. And I've been noticing lately that I'm going through a lot of paints, so I'm trying to figure out how to minimize my amount. I do put a lot when I because I like to just put it straight on my palette, and it's hard to keep preserve those when it's um acrylic. So I'm trying to come up with some better ways to kind of make my paint last a little bit longer, because paint is not as cheap as one would think. But we're just doing some black detailing to the monster guy himself. Then we got Velma, her shirt, and it was just very frustrating doing these details at times. Using a very small brush, and I'm going to take that nutmeg brown shade from before mixed with a little bit of orange to create a more reddish brown tone for Scrappy-Doo, and I will use this for part of Scooby as well.
utilizing the color shade we already have i'm just going to add a little bit of more white to it and some orange to create a good hair tone for shaggy And then I'm also using the same red that I used for Velma's skirt earlier. I used it for the Scooby Snacks box. And then I just took some acrylic marker, the orange shade, and drew some flowers on there. And now I'm taking a yellow shade and doing some inner flowers on there. These are going to make them really pop. I honestly would have preferred if I left the flowers like this. However, I decided in the moment to add black outlining. And once you go there, you cannot go back. So that's what I did. And I just kind of went with it. And it turned out okay, but it's not my favorite. This ended up being the finished canvas. You can find this canvas available for sale for cheap on my Macari. Listed in my description on my YouTube and in my description box below as well i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and i thank you so much for watching maybe share like comment with a friend i don't know but you take care and you have a great one bye bye now